Okay, so what's this game called? Hold on one second. <laughs> Let's start with one. <laughs> I'm going to actually do one that I haven't done yet. Ah, okay. So are we starting? Let's see. Yeah, we'll restart. Hold on a second. Okay, so now we have to... I'm going to do Twin Peaks. Right. Tell me something you never told your mom. Just one kid. Ate the microphone. Just... Easy to do with this one. Ready? Yes. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. And today I have two guests today. I have Elizabeth back there who's going to be the curious onlooker. And Caitlin here is going to share her thoughts on some games that she likes yeah. and uh, why she likes them. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So um, I buy a lot of games uh, for this hobby and I really got back into it. So I got a lot of them. So I'm trying to influence the kids too. And uh, Elizabeth, or I'm sorry, Caitlin, actually this morning. Yeah, I got you. Um, she helped me set up France 40. And we set that all up this morning, huh? Yes. So we got that set up ready to play. So you'll be seeing that on the channel soon. So uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is this one here. I wanted a Civil War game. And it's called Twin Peaks. Now this is the uh, third one in the series that I have. I have Death Valley and Into the Woods. Uh, I actually bought Into the Woods first. And um, then I bought uh, Twin Peaks because I... I really wanted to get as much of that collection as possible. They're not very readily available. Uh, Civil War is fun. It's a lot of counters, a lot of movement. Uh, everybody likes this system, so I wanted to try the system out. I haven't played this game yet, but I'm looking forward to playing this game. And uh, I was able to get this at the GMT Warehouse sale. So a warehouse at the way, warehouse of the weekend. And uh, really, uh, really wanted to play this. And I saw a couple people playing. Uh, into the woods, uh, watch them play, and I like the play style or the play mechanics on that whole game. So I got this one. So that's my first one. So, Caitlin, you want to talk about yours? Yes, please. All right. So what's this one called? It's called the Solomon Islands, Last 100 Yards. Okay. That's a heavy one. You want me to help you? Yes, please. All right. Um, so the first book I chose was the Solomon Islands because I saw my grandpa playing it yesterday. I thought it looked really cool. I watched him play it with a random person. Well, not a random person. Uh, it's a guy that I play with online. A person he plays with online most yeah. of the time. I saw him playing it, and I chose to sit in the room and watch him play because it looked really fun, and I wanted to see how he plays. The game he played was about two or three hours long. Yeah, we still didn't finish it, neither. We're still playing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You're still playing it, even though you... Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I saw him playing a little bit of it yesterday, and I, I really liked it. Okay. Well, that's that's a good enough reason. So yes, Solomon Islands is is good enough reason for me to get that. So I, I agree with you. Okay. And you want to do your next Island. game, or do you want me to do it? Um, I'll do my next game. All right. Okay. So what's it called? Yeah, uh, right. It's just okay. those numbers. So 1776. I didn't really get to look at any of the games because. We just started looking at them. Um, well, I chose this one because it looked really cool. He said it was about the American Revolution. It is? Yeah, he said it was about that. So, and I, well, yeah, I'm going to fifth grade, so I'm pretty sure I want to be learn, learning about the American Revolution. You absolutely would be, yes. And this is, this is a war game that actually shows some of the battles that happened during that, that time. And uh, this game was actually made in 1974, long before you were even a thought. <laughs> your your dad wasn't even born yet. Yes. Yeah, this game's old. How? Oh yeah. Yeah. So so. So oh. yes, uh, 1776 from Avalon Hill. It's a great game. A great uh, uh, overall battles of all of the American Revolution. You actually can play through the entire thing, and you play some short scenarios, shorter games on that too. Okay. So, <laughs> how you doing back there, Elizabeth? You all right? Yeah. All right. So. Uh, with, their, with their 1776, I, I chose Germantown, and this is another um, battle during the American Revolution. And this was actually, uh, this particular um, one is the Battles of the American Revolution. These are different volumes, and this one is volume uh, 7 of them. There are 10 of them out there. And this particular one I found intriguing, which I will talk about a lot more. And you know, You've already probably seen the box opening. Um, I believe this is the one where we have a general that shows up drunk and uh, in the fog and so his guys end up going all over the place and they end up shooting at other of their own guys. You okay with that thing? Don't play with it too much. Leave it there. Yeah, it won't. It'll be fine. It'll pick you up. Do you have anything to add to that? No. 
You, you don't find that amazing that there was a drunk general coming in that he drank too much and he came in? I find in? it really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do I, because when you're playing the game, the guys go all over the place. Like they just randomly go all over the place. So then you think you're winning, and then everybody just takes off and they start shooting each other. So that's my my second game to to match your 1776 there. All right. Anything else you'd like to add for the people out there who play these games? No. 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 How about you, Elizabeth? Do you want to say anything? Well, you said you wanted to talk, and now you got a chance to talk, you can't talk? All right, so there you have it, folks. There's our, our four games that we picked out uh, this week that we thought would be interesting to share with you and talk about, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks for stopping by. Please do like and subscribe, and hopefully you'll be around on the next one uh, where I may or may not have my assistants helping me. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Yes. yes. Very good. All right. That's it.